All right, hello. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial for around arm tricks and kind of breaking into that style of play. Uh, so, uh, quick style. There are three basic mounts you're going to use a lot in around arm play or, or full arm play. Uh, you're going to be using the right hand over mount, or whatever, I, that's what I call it at least, where it's basically it's, it's the string goes over the back of your arm and you're sitting on trapeze. You can do a lot with that mount. And then you can also do a lot with this mount right here, the left arm over trapeze, left arm over, under cross arm trapeze, because uh, you bring out, let's say, cross arm. Uh, so, there's a lot of things you can do with both of these particular mounts. These are the two major ones. Uh, there are some others, uh, but I, I haven't practiced enough with them to really be able to do a tutorial for them. So I'm going to show you some basic moves you can do that will kind of break you into uh, uh, full arm tricks. All right, so there are two. There are two basic tricks I'm going to show you out of the left arm mount right here. Is first, if you roll it off, you can drop off the slack, and then you're in. You can you're in the mount to do an under whip, uh, which is the same thing as going over like this and like that. That's the that is the under whip. Uh, it, I'll make a tutorial on quest. Uh, you can also Set from right here, you set in like this. You can roll your right hand over and dismount, which gets you a good motion and kind of that's kind of a cool way to exit. Uh, to get into the mount, you're going to more or less you're going to take the sit in the trapeze and you're gonna pull it behind your arm, you're gonna pop, you're going to pop off of it, and then come behind like that. Uh, some other ways of getting into it involve going into a yuki slack, or yuki slack around the wrist, double or nothing, popping out underneath, going here, and then right here is the same mount. Uh, you pop out that way, and so on. Uh, so, those are some two of the two basic moves you can get in and out of. You can set it in here, roll off, and throw in, then you can transfer that into a right arm over mount, or into some other things. Or you can go off and you can do all sorts of follow-ups to something that causes that much movement. Uh, I'll let you experiment around with that. Um, and then some more harder tricks you can get in. You can go from here. You can do an Eli hop by pulling down. Uh, this is fairly fairly difficult, but it is really quite, I think it's quite cool. Uh, sitting right here, you can Eli hop it and no, I haven't practiced this enough, so I miss it a lot. But to get the Eli hop, you're setting down, you kind of want to set low and turn your hand over so it's under like this. And then you're going to pull down and push your arm and kind of stretch your fingers out. So it's kind of your fingers are curved and then you're pushing them out as you're pulling down with your throw hand. And that leads into uh, the Eli hop. And then for the right arm mount, to get into it, the basic idea is just to be in a trapeze and then cross over. You can do any sort of little left, little uh, trapeze style chopstick tricks or whatever uh, in that that you want. But there are a few. Other, there's quite a few things you can do with it. Uh, some of the, some of the basic moves are. Let me go ahead and get a better angle for you. If we come here, go into the mount. You can set right here, and you can just pass the yoke. Pass the yo-yo over and hit there, and that brings you into a gated mount, which you can bring into a cross arm trapeze or into a uh, trapeze's brother green triangle. Uh, so again, to do that, go into the right hand mount where you just in a trapeze and you fold your arm over, bring your elbow around it, and you're just going to set the yo-yo on the other string and roll it off. And you can do all sorts of things with that. Uh, and then the, another thing that I do quite often with this is it gets into the same mount. You come in here, and you, you can be doing like an Eli hop, and you can come up and hook around like that. Where it's actually not very hard. It seems very hard, but it really, it's very easy. Uh, so you just really, instead of actually going up and hooking it, you're kind of just dropping and turning your hand over it. And that's really kind of, you're just kind of rotating your hand over the yo-yo, and that'll get it to do that. 
Um, all of these tricks are easier with a mid-finger loop. A lot of people already do this, but it makes it a lot easier to have it there. You have a little more control. Uh, so, And the reason that that's uh, a better hold is because you can put the string farther up your arm or closer to your arm, as however you want to actually hit the trick. Uh, and then most people know, uh, this is the last trick I'm going to show you in this tutorial, is the right hand trapeze, right hand, uh, right hand over mount, full arm mount, over, you can go into a bind by going over and catching there. Uh, it's, you're going to have to feel it out on this one, I don't really have any tricks to figuring it out quickly, but really you're just going, you're just in a trapeze, and you're just popping over, and you're trying to, oops, you're trying to land on this as it's, you're trying to land close to your hand as it's free falling, and that will cause it to bind. Uh, that's it for this one-in tutorial. I hope it helps you get into the uh, full arm tricks.